Thanks so much, Laura. Inspired by a summer volunteering program at Camp Sunshine, a camp that facilitates holistic healing for terminally ill children and their families, Sarah and CISO pursued a research position in the Radiation Oncology Lab at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston. There she has had the unique opportunity to observe scientific innovation in a clinical setting, as well as continue to focus on the impact of illness on the community. Sarah, thanks so much for joining us. And Thank you for having me. I have me. to admit, we've been sitting here chatting for quite a while. You are studying and working on projects that are very near and dear to my heart. I work at a pediatric hospital now. Tell me a little bit about Camp Sunshine and how you wound up there. Camp Sunshine is um, a nonprofit organization. It basically is seeking to provide a support system for terminally ill children and their immediate families. Um, so these families are coming from around the world. Uh, they're at every stage of their illness. And it's a beautiful, beautiful campus that gives these kids kind of a week to just be kids. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. <laughs> and we were also discussing the fact that so many times people will hear about these experiences and, and their immediate reaction is, oh my gosh, that must be so incredibly sad. But it's quite the opposite. You said oh. the, it just radiates joy there. It does, it does. You walk on um, and it's just hopeful. It's just all these people coming together and it's just a community that I feel so grateful to be a part of. It's just, you. from the minute you start talking to them, it's like whether you're a volunteer, whether you're a family member, whether you're you know, a support system from at any, at any link in the chain, you were just a part of this family and it's fantastic. And what was your link? What did you do? Um, I worked for eight weeks with kids of various ages. Um, I was coordinating activities that were educational, team building. Um, some of the weeks I was a one-on-one -on -one counselor, so I was assigned one specific child. Um, and you know that kid might need a little bit extra help navigating some of the activities and that was such a privilege to be able to work with like one kid and get really really close to them over that week. And I'm sure you can't possibly have an experience like this without it really impacting what you do moving forward. What effect has Camp Sunshine had on the decisions you're making about your future? I know that camp was completely instrumental in really deepening my appreciation for how important patient interaction is, um, and especially that social dynamic of healthcare. And so I know even in terms of my studies, I came in as a biology major, um, which gave me that underpinning of you know biology for like understanding disease. But I added psychology because I really feel that it's that human contact that's at like the core of studies, whether that's in the classroom or moving forward into more of a career. And you're not stopping just in the continental U.S. by any stretch of the imagination. You have a really exciting project ahead. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing this summer. Um, I will actually be in India. I'm going and I'm interning with um, Child Family Health International. So basically I'll be spending four weeks working with public health and then four weeks studying the integration of Western medicine and traditional Indian health care. So I'll be able to see kind of holistic healing on a whole different level. Um, in the Himalayas, actually, so in rural India. So I'm very, very excited for that. And you are going to have such an incredible base of knowledge going forward, and not only knowledge, but experience. What do you want to do next? You talk about kind of wanting to integrate the psychological aspects with the scientific aspects, but is there one thing, one really big goal you have in mind? Um, well, really moving forward for me, uh, I've been very struck by the public health side of things and really being able to speak for patients and give patients a voice that don't necessarily always get recognized. And so moving forward, I would really like to pursue law and actually unite um, a law degree with public health. So do kind of a JD MPH and get into healthcare advocacy. A couple years ago, you were a senior in high school looking at where you were gonna go to college and you wound up at Notre Dame, obviously for good reason. What has changed or evolved for you over the time that you've been here? Did you have these ideas when you came in that you would study in India and work with children with cancer? What has changed and what has Notre Dame impacted? I had no idea coming in that I would do any of those things. Um, but Notre Dame has really, the minute you step on campus, they're just encouraging you to like develop your passions, discover your purpose. And I feel that the support system here at Notre Dame, they really just like challenge you to like reach and you know, see where things go. And so it's just been a, an unbelievable experience that I'm completely grateful for. Have you had a lot of fun while you're here too? Because you've done oh, some yeah. really <laughs> meaningful projects. Have you made time to have, have enjoy the dorm Definitely. competitions and everything Definitely. like that? Oh yeah, the community at Notre Dame is outstanding. Um, so whether that's playing broom ball with my friends or going dancing or interning, um, I work at St. Joe's, which has been really, really great too. So it's, it's just a, a, definitely a multifaceted experience and I wouldn't give up any part of it. 
I have been so overwhelmed by the students I've met here tonight. You guys are really amazing representatives of this university. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank Good luck you. with everything you have ahead of you. As I said to someone else, you don't need my best wishes, though, because you're, you've got your path laid out for you. Thank you so much, Sarah.